Hello, welcome to episode three of my trips around Exmoor. Today I am in Dunster. I'm by the Battle Cross, which is a free site to visit. There's a few uh, sites around town. I'm just going to be visiting the free sites today. So obviously Dunster has a big castle, but that's not free. So I'm only doing the free sites today. Join me as I walk around Dunster, looking at a bunch of places to visit. One of the uh, lesser known places in Dunster is the uh, Buttercross Orchard. This is a community orchard, as you can see here by this sign, um, as it's uh, so early on in the year, there's no apples on the trees yet. But it's just a nice place to come and contemplate. Over here, this path here, so you have uh, the gators up there, goes down there, that goes down um, into town. But you can just sit here at one of these tables, just enjoy the peace and quiet. So very few people come up this way. Most tourists will stay down that end in town, which I'll go to in a minute. Um, but this is just a nice quiet place to visit. So you quite often will get the locals here, but you don't often get the tourists. The thing is with Dunster, although there is actually quite a lot of decent free parking, chances are you will have to end up in a paid car park like this because even though there are the bays, they're almost always full up, which is a bit of a hassle, but you get used to it. If you do go to the uh, main car park, these will be the first places you see. Got an um, outdoor shop here, very good for outdoor stuff. Quite expensive, but it is good. I'm actually wearing a pair of trainers which I bought from there um, so despite the prices it is actually worth it rather than buying cheaper stuff. Exmoor National Park Centre here, lots of information. This is the yarn market, this is like one of the biggest features in Dunster apart from obviously the castle over there. Um, now I actually spoke to a guy called Ed who is from English Heritage and he is a uh, free site manager for various sites in Dunster and around the area. So I went back across where I started up this video at the Yarn Market and Gallox Bridge, which I'll show you in a minute. And um, he just gave a little chat about the uh, Yarn Market, so I'll stick that in here now. Hi, I'm Ed McGregor. I'm the free sites partnership manager for English Heritage. So it's my privilege to look after all of the sites that you don't have to be a member to get into for English Heritage in the, in the west of England, of which we've got 103. Um, three of them are here in the lovely little town of Dunster, near Minehead in Somerset. Um, so this town actually used to be very close to the sea. It was a, a seaside town, but the, um, over the years it's receded and, and the, um, it's actually now about a mile inland from the shore. Um, the centre of trade or well, the main trade within Dunster has, has been the yarn and the wool. We're currently inside the yarn market, which um, is a, was built in 1609. Um, it was the marketplace where, um, coming from the name, cloth and wool was traded. Um, and yeah, it's, it's been pretty much untouched. Uh, I think there were repairs done in 1647, but aside from that, it's, it's pretty much untouched and as it was. So we work with the National Trust here to look after this site. They come and inspect it regularly for us, and we also have a team of volunteers that, that come and just keep an eye on it. And yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a wonderful little space in, in the centre of Dunster. And also, yeah, in Dunster, within a short walking distance, we've got the Butter Cross, which is just up the hill. So that used to be the High Cross in the centre of town. Um, so it was a cruciform shape right in the centre here, but it was relocated to about half a mile outside of town. Um, can't remember the exact date on that. Uh, but it, And it's now much shorter, so the top is gone. It's just the base of, of the cross. Um, and it's, it's known as the Butter Cross because it became the place in, in the market centre where butter, butter was traded. Uh, and then you walk the other way, um, north of the town, and you get to Gallic's Bridge, which um, is a 15th century bridge. Uh, it's a small bridge that was designed for horse and carts to, to bring goods over the river. Um, it's about four foot wide and 32 foot long. 
and Gallux, the word Gallux comes from uh, the gallows, so it led you out of town up to the gallows on the hills where the, uh, the local constabulary would have the, the right to hang any thieves that they uh, made you of. So a bit of a dark history there. But yeah, we hope you can uh, come and enjoy these sites and they're all free to experience and enjoy and learn a little bit about the history of, um, of Dunstan. This is the Yarn Market Hotel. A lot of leaflets in there, so if you ever want to know what's going on in the area, you can pop in there, grab a leaflet. So, uh, lights are on. Lights aren't often on in the day, they're usually on a timer. But, uh, they're on right now. Got lots of little unique shops and gift shops around. Um, you, there's no like chain stores along here that you'd, like, you'd see in your typical high street, like you know, there's no McDonald's or anything. It's all independent shops, so that's quite cool. And they're selling gifts and unique things, and a few art galleries, art shops. <laughs> So all that B-roll footage you just saw, um, all the uh, shop owners and staff either didn't object or outright gave me permission and even had a chat with me to film. Um, but there's one place that you won't see on the video um, and that's basically because I got chucked out. So this is uh, looking down on Dunster where I've just been. So this is the uh, way up to the castle. Again, in, if you come here in the summertime, this will be completely different. It'll be full of people walking backwards and forwards. National Trust shop. It's uh, old stables. They have uh, sound effects playing, what it might have once been like. It's quite cool in here. This bit is all uh, looks after by the National Trust, I believe. Diagram there. It's quite dark in here, but it's nice because it's cool. It, when it's like blazing hot outside and you come in here, it, it's uh, quite refreshing. So sometimes it's nice to get in here just to uh, get away from the heat. To find like all the cool stuff, you do have to like walk. It's not all in the centre. So like if you want to see this rather splendid stream here, you have to uh, walk to find it. So 
Gallox Bridge is up there, which was mentioned earlier. I'll show you that in a minute. But I'm going this way now. Tea room over there. Nice garden area. You can come and enjoy a light refreshment by the river. If you're walking to Gallox Bridge before town, just before you get there, there's this quite cool little playground. So if you've got kids, come here, spend a little bit of time. It's quite a nice little area. The, uh, the tiles are padded around the swings, around the slide. I think all those tiles are padded as well. Anyway, so this is Gallux Bridge. And uh, as you heard earlier in the little chat from Ed from English Heritage, this was uh, the way over to the gallows. So you get a lot of people come here, just walking over, have a look. You quite often we'll see pictures of this on like Exmoor sites or places like that. There's an Exmoor Facebook group and places they quite often like to take pictures of the bridge. Here it is from the other side. Cars do actually drive through here. Sometimes this river is a lot shallower and um, you can see the, uh, the tracks there and they drive through and up that side. But I don't know about right now because it keeps raining, so the river's quite high at the moment. Right, if you go up this way, that takes you into Exmoor, and I believe this does as well, different areas. This, this takes you up to Bats Castle, so uh, that is uh, quite a, a walk. It's quite a climb as well, I'm not doing it today because the, the hill is quite steep. Uh, so we're not going that way today, we're just staying within Dunster. What I am going to do is walk this way, which is a nice path. Well, quite often we'll have people walking along here that walk their dogs and stuff along here. This actually goes back to where I started at the car park. Um, it goes around the castle, so it doesn't actually, you can't actually get into the castle grounds um, as the fences are too high, um, but it runs parallel to the uh, path around the castle. So when you're walking along here, you're quite often will see people inside the uh, castle grounds walking parallel to you. There's, there's the water mill. So, you know, if you just want to look at it from a distance, there it is. So that's the stream that went along by the uh, footpath. Comes to the water mill there. Obviously, you can't see what's happening inside. Okay, so there's the water mill there. And then you come along here and you've got this nice bridge here. But this is all on the castle side. I'm actually leaning up against the fence right now. You can't actually get to it from this side. But this fence, it does look like you can, but you can't. If you're walking along, like, you're either coming from that side from the car park or that side from Gallox Bridge. You get to this bend, it looks like you can uh, join the uh, bridge, but you can't. It's uh, completely separated. To get to that side, you have to go through the uh, castle entrance and pay. Again, a lot of people might go through Dunster and never see this because it's not really signposted or anything. There isn't really any information about it on the outside. So it's just one of those places you might miss. So there's the uh, outdoor shop near where I started over there. You can see how you can easily miss it. So to summarise, this is a map of Dunster taken at the main car park here. I started my video over here at Buttercross and I made my way across here towards the yarn market. I then went around some of the shops here, walked up here, went into the stables and the National Trust shop there, back out onto the main road along here. This is where the stream is here and then I went to the cafe here. I didn't go into the water mill on the day of filming because it was shut. Over Gallox Bridge, along this path here, back down across the field, back into the car park and that is my trip around Dunster. Alright so that's the end of uh, this video of exploring Exmoor number three. 
and uh, I don't know where I'm going to go for video number four, but I'm sure it'll be equally as exciting and thrilling. And uh, I'll see you then. All right, bye.